Welcome, welcome to Ant, Angel of Nicoleta Design. Hi everyone, today I'm reading my article about uh, Bumble and is it any different than Tinder. Let's start. UX analysis. Is Bumble any different than Tinder? Features on their core mission went over my head. Do you know what I'm talking about? Read more to find out. Or listen. Before I continue, I just want to ask you to subscribe to my uh, Substack and stay tuned for new stories because more interesting stories are really coming soon. Since I'm curious as heck, I have heard about Bumble but only about its name and its origin as a dating app. So naturally, was thrown away in the category of my brain where it says another dating app with a different name. Recently, I also installed it and started roaming through all the familiar features they have like they do on Tinder and any other for that matter. Swiping, profile structure, super likes, hidden profiles, you know the gist of it. One big thing that made me say out loud, hmm, that's different, was the fact that I could reach the end of the swiping deck in one day, in the BFF category in minutes. That never happened to me in Tinder or any other app while researching or using it. That got me even more curious to explore and check what else is different. Quote, Bumble is a platform and community that creates empowering connections in love, life and work. We promote accountability, equality and kindness in an effort to end misogyny and rewrite archaic gender roles. On Bumble, women always make the first move. Bumble mission statement, end of quote. Well, that same feature where women have to message first went over my head and it did for more than a few days. I know, I felt kind of stupid, yes. I admit that there were some prompts when matching with per a person, but I ignored them as a usual be proactive nudge that other apps have as well. Remember my bias and putting the app in the same category as the rest? Well, yes. Here is the result of that. A few days of swiping and wondering why people don't reach out first got me to a situation of meeting with a climbing male enthusiast that shared with me his experience and perspective about the app. He thought I was working for Bumble because of the open-end questions I asked him. <laughs> For me, this was a great experience in terms of having an, an informal user interview with someone that is part of the majority of the users using Bumble. Once I got to the aha uh -huh moment, I got into a different approach to using the app and exploring its features. For those of you who have used dating applications, I will compare it with Tinder since it's his primary competitor and since they already have an interesting past together. Disclaimer, none of the apps has a goal of getting the user of the app to uninstall it. Hence, finding a partner or friendship as quickly as possible is not a primary goal for them. So bear that in mind if you just starting to use them. Those who have found partners through such applications are the exception, not the rule. To be able to really find someone to match with and be on the same page, well, that's kind of hard, especially through only texting. Tinder is generally considered more for casual entanglements, hookups, and Bumble is supposedly promoting healthy relationships in all the three categories we have, dating, friendship, and professional networking. Now that we have got a bigger picture of the two mobile apps, let's see what's the difference and what is similar between the two. Similarities. The fundamental interaction animations, swiping left and right, super likes, expensive plans. It's a location-based app, but the radius is not adjustable for Bumble. Differences. 24-hour limit to text first after matching if you're a woman. Any matching or extending the match a few times for free, then having to pay for the functionality. Conversation prompts from men to women make it easier to choose a topic to start the conversation with. An example that someone might have asked me about pizza. Categories like date, BFF and business are available on Bumble. Tinder tried something similar last winter, but it actually just recycles 
the same people from the dating category into different ones. Swiping left on Bumble has a small bubble message saying it is a missed opportunity which means buy our plans and get a second chance to matching with someone who is already in the likes section but with a blurred profile photo. It is also a premise to second guessing yourself when I think about it. Nice try. My experience so far with Bumble. I started using the app on 31st of October 2022 and currently still have it installed. Update? I do still have it. Extremely annoying that photos on profile can't be viewed once opened in a gallery view to swipe between them like a carousel. Not possible. Also, accident swipes are possible because of that annoying interaction. If you understand me correctly, I cannot swipe through their photos left and right, but I have to click on every single one specifically, close it and view it individually. Sometimes false push notifications that you have a message appear with the purpose of the app to have more user retention. That might be a bug, internet issue or just a deceptive design pattern. Go through a lot of small chats and unmatching from my side and other as well. Ghosting is quite normalized on the app as may seem. The prompt messages of reassurance make it a bit better to be honest. Having a full section with safety and well-being under your profile makes it easier for the next billion users to get ahead with the dating hurdles of using mobile apps for connecting with people. Met two women from the BFF category and had very fulfilling conversations and hopefully will grow into nice friendships with time. I experienced more accurately recognized this for the first time. Social anxiety. Especially when talking to people that are using the term date, not a hangout or meeting during the texting phase. That is just a personal observation. Got lots of chances for self-retrospection and observation when communicating with different types of people. My battery gets drained in a day and I don't like it, especially when using the app for one hour in total a day. Thank you for reading, considering giving me a follow or subscribing for more interesting stories and podcast episodes soon. Your comments and feedback keep me motivated to write and record more and of course improve. Have a great week. P.S. If you want to be part of my curious and meaningful journey, you can find me on Instagram at Angelo Nicoleta Design and at LinkedIn Nicoleta Angelo. See you in the next one. Bye.